At the KSMO studios, we have our friends from Sac Bay in today, Sarah Massigale. You yeah, back there, Sarah. Good morning, Sam. How are you, Sarah? Good, thank you. I want to make sure your microphone's on. There we go. Didn't seem to be coming across real well. Okay, very good. Sarah's here. We've got David. We've got his daughter. We've got the whole family here. Almost the whole family. Almost the whole family. Dad's taking it easy, right? Yeah, he's sleeping in. <laughs> I don't blame him. Good day. All right, well, first off, uh, glad you can all make it in. I know it was kind of a last-minute thing, but before you really got into everything, and then you didn't want to pull away, <laughs> right. uh, we want to tell people a little bit about the mural going on on the ONCRC building and and a little bit about then SACPO. And then there's still fundraisers. You still need fundraising done on some of this. So right. we, all, we always want money, right? Right, well, the, right, so the campaign for this project is 145,000, but that includes not just the mural, but also some renovations to the building. Cause sure. it's an 80 year old building. So we've had to do some tuck pointing on the brick. There's some roof repairs coming, the exterior improvements like that front entryway. So it's bigger than just the mural. So that's why we're still fundraising. Roof um, has always been an issue with that been, building. Yeah, we're working on that, but yeah, um, yeah hoping to get it. But this, the building's solid, it's gonna be there a long time. And so that's why we're so excited about this mural. It's going to help us revitalize it and um, help us, you know, draw more people to town and to the facility. Very good. Well, David, introduce yourself. Maybe tell people a little bit about how you got into being, we'll call you a muralist. Okay. How's well, that? Sure. Uh, <laughs> my name is uh, David Spear. I'm from Columbia, Missouri, and I've been doing artwork and uh, murals for uh, the around 30 years now i also work part-time as an exhibit designer for the missouri department of conservation so okay. i design kids interactive tables and touchscreen interactives and airbrush giant frogs and stuff for the nature centers around the state and uh we're really excited to have this opportunity to uh paint this mural for the place that i think is, is one of the most beautiful places in 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 the world it is a definitely a unique place, Salem yes. and Dan County. I've never been anywhere where it's the same kind of thing. Just, you know, like one town basically is the county, mm -hmm. you know, so everything centers through Salem. And then that I don't think I've ever seen that before, you know, not really in the way it works here because it's a small county. It's not that big, 15, maybe 16,000 towns, 4,500, 5,000. That's not a big town, not a big thing, but everything flows through it. And the mural you're putting up there is a great historical piece, but also the pieces of what we actually have going on right now, mm -hmm. and even a little bit of look to the future. If I if I looked at that mural pretty pretty close, okay, yeah. you know, okay, because it really is. And so uh, I really appreciate the work you've done on that. I wish I could show people if right here at what that mural is, but that uh, I have a description right here. And we're going to yeah, talk. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit about sure. what some of your items okay. on. But your whole family's here, so your dad's sleeping in. My dad's sleeping in. But you brought your lovely daughter with you, who she's going to follow in your footsteps. She is. Yes. She will be going to the Kansas City Art Institute in the fall, and mm -hmm. so she's been working with me on projects for a few years now. And, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm uh, jealous and excited <laughs> that she gets to go to this this great school. Yeah. yeah. So introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Vivian Spear. I'm David's daughter. Um, How long you been helping? Uh, well, I mean, I've been helping this guy since she's, what? Three. Eighteen years now. I think. <laughs> um, but. No, I he he let me let me um start helping him with his murals when I was around 15. Uh the first one I worked on with him was the Harpo's mural mm -hmm. um down in Columbia um and it's just been amazing to have all these opportunities especially um to be able to follow in his footsteps and learn from him and um I'm really excited for this mural. Um it's it's a pretty big one and I'm I don't know where else I'd have the chance to do this if, if not for my dad. So, it's been so since you're a veteran of this, did you have any input on the design? Uh, no, <laughs> I, no. <laughs> um, everybody else did. Uh, no, everybody. yeah. He talked to everybody I else. I go there. Me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, no, I didn't. So my dad does does all of the design stuff, and then I, I just kind of help him with the with the painting and the detail work and stuff like that. Um, but it's really cool to get to watch him design things, especially like with the gridding system that we've been working with. It's been really interesting. So Sarah, how did all this come about where SACBA said, Hey, we really want to do something with this building, something special. 
That's going to grab people's attention, right. obviously. Well, so, you know, with the pandemic, the building was basically closed for right. 2020 and most of 2021. So when we started getting back and thinking about it, we did a strategic planning session and said, what do we really want this building and facility to be in the community? And how do we want to move forward? And um, it's such a unique space, right? I mm -hmm. mean, where else would we have this exhibit space and the opportunity for these resources. And so part of the plan originally was let's put one of those little old time postcards, like a mural on the corner, you know, like a welcome to Salem, sure, right? Sure, Something small. Sure. Yeah. But we got connected with Roger Still at the LAD Foundation, and he was helping us through the planning process. And um, the idea, it was like, well, maybe it could be bigger. And then he happened to know David and um, the his um, style is a lot like Thomas Hart Benton. And at the time we had the Thomas Hart Benton exhibit in the um, exhibit room last summer. And um, so it kind of like just grew from there. And so then um, what was really exciting about the process though, was that David came down and had a, a charrette with um, all the volunteers from our facility, some of the natural resource partners in our community to ask, you know, what would we put on a mural that represents Dent County and our region and the Ozarks. And so, I mean, he had like three or four, he had like three or four at least papers full of ideas about things that were important to people in our community. And so all of those elements are in this mural. It's just fascinating um, that he was able to put all those things in there. And people can see that we're part of that process, you know, where, oh, look, we talked about that and there it's mm -hmm. gonna be. So it's really grown. It's been like a year, over, a little over a year in the works and lots of planning and thinking about it, making sure we were, you know, doing it right because we want it to last and to be a really important part um, David, when you go through this, uh, did you do some historical research on Den County to also maybe get some other sites? You don't want to miss out on something that was here maybe for 50, 60 years, no longer here. Like, you know, a lot of railroad timbers were built here, you know, cut and made. You yeah, don't see that much of that anymore. But even though our timber industry is still a vital part of Dent County we may not be quite making as many of those as they used to right, right exactly yeah I did a, a, a lot of research I came down here with Roger we visited toured around I've actually been down here with uh, the Missouri Department of Conservation mm -hmm. on at uh, conferences and seminars where I've gotten tours of uh, uh, the the, the uh, MDC trout and um, the, the hatcheries and, and the mills around this area so it was the I already had an idea, and I've, of course, we've been canoeing in, in, down the current. So you're you supposed know. to be working. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's research. 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 That is research. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You know, and it is, an, as you mentioned when you first came on, it's a unique area. Uh, you know, here we are. We have actually two floating rivers with a Jack's Fork and Current, obviously Current on the, on the upper end of Dent County moving down, but then matching up with Jack's Fork. And as you get down, you see now Current River State Park and Echo Bluff State Park and a lot more people wanting to get away from noise wanting to get away from all that congestion and just getting back maybe a little bit to nature finding out what's out there i mean i think when COVID actually hit a lot of people didn't want to be near anybody else find out how actually relaxing it is to actually be on your own out in nature maybe just actually take a breath get away from it for a minute or two it really does help, and it kind of re-energizes you, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Nature is a vital part to get outside, walk around. Uh, I, I go outside every morning uh, in, in, at home, and we have great nature trails around Columbia. So uh, every morning I'll go out and explore that area. So how long did it take you to design this mural? There's a lot of intricate things to this mural. What was the total? I think it was like 120, 150 hours or something like that. I think if, if I wrote the hours down, it was it was quite a bit of, of research and, and time put in. And then going back and, and doing doing some different additions mm -hmm. and, you know, taking the horse out of the river, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that, yeah. but, you know. So don't leave that horse in the river. Don't, now. Put, that, don't put that horse in the river. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I had it, it drinking out of the river, and I, that uh, was a no, 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 that was a no, no, no. no. I can't yeah. do that anymore. Uh -huh. Twenty years ago, you've been fine. But yeah. That, that. yeah. So, what? Obviously, when, when I look at this mirror, you see you see the floating, you see the river, you see the water, you see a little bit of a banjo player. I'm assuming you're, that's Doug Dillard. It is Doug Dillard. <laughs> okay. we, we have his permission mm -hmm. to, uh, or his well, his, his, his state's, state's permission, permission or Rodney's right. permission. Right. Well, that. both. Yeah. Yeah. 
And, and when you you look at this and you see then, like on the other side of the building, I mean, this is going to be a full wrap of this building, yes, correct? Yes, it will be. Yeah. You get a chance to see a story that tells a little bit about the history of Dane County. It's like a window to, as I mentioned, not only to the, the, the past, and but a little bit to the future. Because I really love the way the front has the flowers. Right. Yeah. You know, right over top of the entrance. And I think I thought, wow, that doesn't get your attention. <laughs> well, it will. But, you know, you see the banjo, and then you see the water, and then you see the canoeist going uphill on the water. I always thought that was pretty good, too. <laughs> I don't know where you got that idea. I said, gosh, we don't have any real falls here. But I'm curious, where did that idea come well, from? Well, it's, it's actually Benton, uh, the way that he would construct his compositions. You, I mean, he opened the doorways for what you can do. So having a river that flows upward and, and, and goes down, and um, it's just compositional elements that are borrowed from artists like Thomas Hart Benton. When I, when I looked at this the first time, and I didn't catch it, a lot of it, that I see everything as the rolling hills. Everything is hill, valley, mm -hmm. hill, valley, which if you've been to Dent County, that's pretty much the way it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's interesting that you put all that in there because a lot of people probably wouldn't possibly think of that when they well, come to Dent County. Oh, you know, you think more rolling hills, you go to Branson because you, you see them on a the long trip down. You see yeah, uh, up yeah. and down. You know, in Dent County, you drive it. <laughs> you do drive it. You're you don't right. see it so yeah. much, but you drive it. You, <laughs> you definitely get out there. Yeah, you know. And if anybody's ever been out like Route KK, and they can look down when they get down near Acres, get way up on top of that peak, you can, especially in the winter, not so much in the summer, and you can see the current river below you, and it's virtually straight mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. You know. So it, these are the yeah. these are the neat things that I see. You kind of depict a little bit, well, hint at them in, in this mural. You have Mount Zion that right. is at the very top oh, sure. of that hill. And, right. You know, so. And then the river was such an important part with when we were having the planning session, and you know, and so people talked about the fish. So that was the underwater part. So right. you see, you see the paddle sticking through the water, and then you, um, we wanted to have bats and whippoorwills and things that are up above, and so that was, you know, another part I think why mm -hmm. kind of have the river up and down there too, so that we can see all those different elements and. Um, there's something every every time we look oh, at it, oh, there's there something is. new. It's you know, and I, and I looked at kind of the uh, barrel making, you know, and I thought, well, that's a very apropos. That's still going on very yeah, good. Yeah. And, and there's still mining here, and a little bit of that is hinting, hinting there and the fishermen in the water and stuff. There's just, you touch on virtually everything that makes this area special, but also the everyday stuff that people don't think about. Like I said, you got Stave Mill out here, and all of a sudden they come up with these beautiful barrels, and those whiskey barrels go all the way from here to France. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's amazing when you start to think about it, because mm -hmm. we've had a lot of uh, wood products that have gone out of here, uh, Canoke and things that I here said flooring all over the world, because the wood that the people want is exclusive to this area. I know it's amazing. Yeah, you yeah. know. So when when you were doing the idea. Obviously, when you put an idea together, I'm sure you had a, a few drafts and tweaked this a few times, right? Oh, yeah, just a few <laughs> times. In fact, I think we're still going through tweaks, you know, in the process. So, yeah. yeah. Because you get an idea and say, well, this would really... And then as you continue the ideas, that reaction might fit better over here, right? Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. You know because I love the front part. Like I said, I love the banjo putting on there. And, and uh, of course... An area is known for the, obviously the Darling family sure. slash the Dillards, yeah. uh, and it would—it's always a good part of our history to remember that. But it's, it hasn't stopped. There's still a lot of people to play music here. Uh, Salem Area Community Betterment Association Salem Arts Council has a jam session every fourth Saturday that they go to Salem Arts Center and, and people sit around and just play music. Well, you know, that's part of why this is exciting, too, is there's mm -hmm. already the murals on the Art Center building and the Farmer's Market mural. And then so our Community Betterment Campus is doing all of those cool things. And so then we have this big building that really was, you know, kind of boring looking, right? I mean, the beige before. And, and so having this mural ties in the art and, you know, helps feature all those things that are important to us and then really improves that campus area there with our Farmer's Market shelter and all of that. Has so. anybody at the Salem Arts Center helped out? David and this or made a few suggestions uh, yeah, since he got started. Tana Kettner and some of the art students from mm -hmm. the high school came to the planning meeting. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think you're going to have some of them, them involved 
I hope to have some of them involved. We're uh, going to start outlining. Right now, it looks like chaos. <laughs> right? It looks like... Organized chaos. Oh, it is, Shh. Organized chaos. Organized chaos. <laughs> <laughs> That's why all the all the, the letters and yes, the numbers yeah, are on there. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it, it, it's your code. It's the code that, that I find... On, a, get creative here, man. I mean, you're with aliens, right? Yeah. You bet. Uh, but we'll be using that as our grid today, and so hopefully those lines will start showing up and we could have people and students to come in and, and start blocking in stuff. We just ordered our color through uh, or our paints through Robert Judson. Mm -hmm. Robert Judson. Mm -hmm. Robert Judson. Yep. Yep. And is so this a special? On Thursday. Is this a special type of paint you need to put on this building? Yeah, I'm getting the most expensive. Why you know, not? Paint that you could get that dries like uh, you know in a half an hour and is made to be put on this and then afterwards we'll put on a, uh, a graffiti coat mm -hmm. so if something does happen and, and that actually helps with the elements and uh, sure. will help it last longer. And that was, that was going to be my next question because we do get some pretty harsh sun here that right where that building is facing is dead west oh, you know, know and it, it will take a brutal sun beating during the summer no yeah, doubt about that we'll have that. to paint that during special times during the day yeah. and it's probably early morning evening painting so that the, the wall's not too hot to paint on well i got i gotta tell you vivian you've been here and you're getting all this experience mm -hmm. pretty soon She's going to be uh, possibly stepping out on her own, doing a little bit of work like I, this? Or I are you just so. going to stay within the family? Uh, no, I'm, I'm hoping to do some of my own stuff okay. um, as, as, I, as I grow um, as an artist. Um, when attending uh, the Kansas, Kansas City Art Institute next year, I'm hoping to find other opportunities that are uh, a little bit more outside of Columbia um, and, and more things within Missouri, maybe step out of a box a bit um but i i do love working for my dad right now and i i do see myself still working with him in the future um uh but that probably won't be the the only thing that i do but is your vision different when you see something like this and say you know i might have done this a little different or that a little different <laughs> no. No, don't it's not gonna hurt his feelings oh no because no. you know everybody's got a different opinion about something but when you look at it overall and then you say, you know, I see why you did it and everything, you understand the concept, and, you know, I think I'd have put this over here, you yeah. know. Yeah, um, yeah, my my art style is very different from my dad's. Um, my my dad's art style, though, I've, I've gotten to watch it um, grow as I've grown up. It's something that I've gotten to see um, develop through, like, different... Um, uh, subjects with mythology and uh, what else I mean it's grown it's it's at nature right now but he's done a lot of different um, things and covered a lot of different topics and with that his style always kind of uh, barters and changes and so it's been really interesting to watch that so seeing him create this mural is just another one of those things where I get to watch my dad make something beautiful for people to love, and I think that's great. Um, and so I wouldn't, I wouldn't really change anything about it, but I do love what he did with it. Yeah. So in the future, are you looking at doing murals or other type of art, or a little bit of everything? Um, so mainly, I do uh, illustration work, so okay. so smaller scale stuff. But, Just a um, little. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just little doodles. A little um, bit. But, uh, yeah, I, I'd love to work on murals and um, bigger projects. Um, but right now I, I love working on them with my dad and getting to learn uh, from what he's doing and what materials he's using and techniques he's using. It's really interesting. And you know, one of the neat things that I loved about this mural is the amount of green, because we have a lot of trees, obviously, mm -hmm. and also about the amount of water, you know, and it might be, oh, and I, I guess on the... I'd have to say that's the east wall, or the uh, north wall, is there's a lot of water in there. There's a lot of green in there. Mm -hmm. and But but it's, it's so relaxing. It's just a, guy, a couple guys fishing and taking it easy. But the water is not crystal clear blue. You know, a lot of people sit there and, and they look and they look through uh, the down in Montauk, for example. You go down there, you can see right through the water. You can see the fish. Yeah. So you know it's clear. But you know as well as I do, it's not clear. Mm -hmm. And I think you've captured that. That's and I looked at that. And I said, "How the heck did you get that? That that kind of green glow to the water because it's, it's reflecting off the trees, mm -hmm. and at the same time, 
put the little bit of white of the moving river that obviously the current does uh, all mixed together, and I I feel like you've captured. The, the whole floating genre, starting at the headwaters of Montauk. I don't see the Seven Springs, but I do see a top up here. <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh, what, what spring is that? That's the, uh, oh, gosh. Well, the one right there at Montauk, I think, right? Was yeah, the, the yeah. one with the old hospital. That's oh, Welsh. Welsh, Welsh yeah. dead, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I Not forget sh- all the stuff that's yeah, on there. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, so and, uh, you've caused a ruckus a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. With have, your... have you guys been to Seven Springs down in Montauk, up on top? Did you take them down there? I think so, yes. If you look in the water on the side, you'll see the water shooting out. Uh-huh. It bubbles okay. as it comes out. Uh-huh. It, and just you, know, you sit there and all of a sudden it goes, brrr, brrr, you know, it just... You can just see the water coming out. And then you look here, and then it's over there. Then it's over here. And then it's over here. How? Uh-huh. You know, you it's would amazing. think just all come up in the middle, right? Yeah. Nope. And so, I, but we want to know a little bit more about what's happening right now. Because you've well, caused I'm a getting stir. there. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're jumping the gun, I'm jumping Sarah. the gun, but everybody well, wants no, to know. Well, no, because... <laughs> Because they're here, they are now here, and you're actually getting started on the project. Right. Okay. How long do you think this project, guesstimation, obviously, because you're going to have to play around weather and different things, obviously. Right. And I think um, that, uh, well, I've booked all of July and um, probably in the beginning of August, and we have uh, window clings that we're doing, too, that are going to continue the mural. Um, so that will probably be taking place in the middle of August. So I'm hoping to be done with everything by the middle of August. But of of course, you know, it, we've we've ho- hopefully we have four days of rain coming. I don't want it personally because I want to work, but the soybeans need it. So maybe rain overnight. That would be nice. <laughs> That's a great idea. Could we could we program that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we can. But it would be nice. Now, do you guys work at night with lights, or are you pretty well shut off when, we when daylight? We pretty much shut off yeah. at sunset. I mean, uh, well, it's a long day anyway. To sunset yeah. is about as, as long as we want to go. Yeah. I, I get that. I get yeah. that. So as you as you get started, is there one side or area that you're going to get started on first, or is this? Well, we've we, we've caused a bit of a ruckus. Uh oh. With uh <laughs> the with, with the under planning, which is all it, it's called doodle gridding technique, and so we just have random letters and numbers on there and uh we use that as a grid and so we we are going to start on the front today (laughs) um but what we do is we what i did was i took a picture of the building like it is now sure looks like chaos (laughs) right yeah control chaos it does um and then i superimpose our painting on photoshop onto that i see photograph and then we can see based on those underlying doodles where that painting is on top so we take the uh um just make it a little bit transparent so that we could see the all the markings underneath the painting and then we could go up and and do all of our drawing from there. So we use all of those doodle marks as references yeah. for the uh, for the mural. See, I figured there had to be a purpose. Yeah, it had to uh, be some is, kind yeah, of purpose. Yeah, there is uh, some magic <clears throat> there. So when you did the obviously, did, I don't know. Did you guys do the primer or did somebody no, else do that? No, Chris in. Uh, Chris Roberts and his oh, team. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. So it, the primer obviously is done. Obviously, make it a, a blank canvas for you, mm-hmm. but it. Did it fill the pores of the, 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 the brick? Because we all know brick likes to suck in oh, paint yeah. and water. Yeah. So as soon as you start going in there, you can think, oh, man, this is great. And all of a sudden, it's gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's you true, know? yeah. It does I happen. I think Chris did a really good job. I, I've been all yeah. around the building, and it's, it's super soaked in, and it's, it's a great uh, blank slate uh, to work from. And uh, you've really thankful that he was able to get that done and kind of he pushed a, pushed aside some other projects to a little bit later to get it done for us and I really appreciate it. Yeah. So if you start on the front of the building obviously by let's just say normal typical July day in Salem by about three o'clock in the afternoon you're gonna probably be on the back side or on, right. the, or yeah. on the north or south sides right? Right yeah we'll move with the shadows. Yeah. Um, and a direct sun. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we will be moving around it 
So people see you working on the front, and they come by at 12 o'clock or something, and they come by at 4. Well, they're done already. You're probably on the other side. Yeah, I might be on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> we've had some interesting experiences being here for the last two days and, mm -hmm. and uh, what people think is graffiti going on the building. Right. I did. I had a... a I had an officer pull up uh, next to me when I was uh, on the left side of the building. My my grandpa and my dad were on the right side, so I don't think he saw them. But it was just me, me um, spray painting the building by myself, um, just numbers and letters, just all this gibberish that doesn't make any sense. Um, oh, it and, doesn't make sense to him. But well, it makes right, he just doesn't right. understand. But, what did um, he say? but I mean, the aliens that we're talking to, I mean, hey, <laughs> you see it. Um, but he, yeah, he. Uh, he pulled up next to me, and um, he's in his car, and uh, and I turn around, and I, and we'd had we'd had some people pull up, and sure. you know, what the heck's going on here? And uh, the guy uh, rolls down his window, and I and I look back, and I'm thinking, oh, it's just another person, and I'm like, that's a police officer, that's awesome. Um, and then <laughs> he rolls his window down, and he's like, hey, what you doing, kid? What's going on? And I'm like, hey, so. Yeah, I know this looks bad, and he's like, you know, it's not looking good for you. No. Um. So what's uh what's going on? How old are you? And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm I'm 18, and I know in the back of his mind he's thinking, you know, start him off so good. young. That's not good. It's not not looking like a good yeah. future. Yeah. Um. And I'm like, no, you're I promise. Age, it's, uh, you're not a minor anymore. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah no. I know. He's like, you might as well just hop building. in the back of this cop yeah. car now. Um. We've had I, a lot of outrage. Pretty bad. And it, you know, people are very upset that the building has been massacred. And, uh, <laughs> and that's kind of nice. Yeah. Well, you know, and we should have thought about it, I guess, but I didn't know all the process. Um, you know, we've been out, we've been in the newspaper talking about the mural. We've been at the business expo. and But it's always hard to get everybody up to speed on what's happening. So, yeah, when you take this big building and people saw it look nice and was painted gray and then all of a sudden it looks tag. <laughs> it is kind of, um, it's, it's. Um, it's jarring. It's jarring, no. I yeah. guess, yes. Well, usually, though, and I don't remember if anybody remembers back in, in school when you put a mural together. Uh, I remember, and I'm not and I'm not an artist, guys. You don't want me touching your building well, at all. I can't draw a stick man, you know, so we don't want to do that. But if you remember back, at least my art teacher did, we did things by code. So when I saw it going up, you know, I, I was... I thought, oh yeah, that's just that's just their code. That's how they were going to do it, with angles possibly like here. This is where the angle wants to be for the mm -hmm. water or whatever it is, and then a color is a code or a letter, and then you have the color in there, and then sometimes you have a color code like like B W C would be black, you know, white, and then possibly cyan, and then you'd have those that are mixed. So, I mean, we used to do that in our murals. That was. Yeah, that's a long time ago. But uh, <laughs> you know, we're talking 50 years ago. But they had that's what we did on the paper. We actually put the codes so we knew where it was and where to stop. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So when so, I saw it and I, somebody asked me, I said, "It's just code." <laughs> you know, and they're like, "What? What's code?" Yeah, I said, well, "I don't know their code, but <laughs> you know, I think it's just code because it's too." It's not a. It's not random. It's not just a, a streak of something across. It's in its own way, shape, and form. I said I can't see it. I said I've seen the mural, but I can't see it. But I, I'm not doing it the way that you're doing it, David, or even when Vivian would do it right. somewhere down the road. It's really so, exciting to see. Yeah, I think it's it gonna is. Be really fun as it progresses. And so if people want to, you know, it's, it, it's been in the newspaper, so you can always look up the newspaper online to see the article about it and the designs. Um, you can come in the building Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and we have a big mural, a, a big poster of the mural. So you can, you know, take a look at it and see it. and um, Or just, you know, ask any of our volunteers questions because right. we're all happy to help talk about the project. So, so we're still looking, though, at funds mm -hmm. to finish. How can people help donate as it, as the project moves forward? Yeah, we're we're so excited about the support we've had so far. Mm -hmm. um, lots of donations from um, grants and LED Foundation, the Ruth Arts Foundation out of Wisconsin has given us some funding. Dent County Industrial and De Industrial Development Authority, and then lots of local community businesses and individuals. And so, if anyone's interested to contribute. Um, you know, donations are appreciated, and again, it's for the bigger project too. So mm -hmm. um, we're moving forward with the mural. We're we're good there, and you know, but we're still working on some of the other funds for the rest of the project. Um, we can donate online at our website, SalemCommunityBetterment.com/donate. You can always drop a check in the mail to PO Box 732, Salem, or um, you know, you can stop by and 
and you know contribute there. Um, like always, our exhibits are free, and that's really important. We want to make sure everyone can participate and come and see what we've got in there. But um, donations are appreciated throughout the year to help cover the operating costs and and have all the cool exhibits, like the Smithsonian one that's coming up in March. And then, you know, trees and trains, so don't forget about that coming in the winter. We have one so. coming up right after this well, week, right? Monday, yep. Monday starts the Dent County Business Celebration, so mm -hmm. you can come see um, some of our current multi-generational businesses or, um, you know, some of those historic ones that were longtime favorites in the community. Um, that's open through the end of July, starting Monday. Then we'll have um, weaving and spinning. Um, Susan Wilson is going to be doing... Um, all of her finger weaving and, and art there, so that'll be a cool exhibit in, in August. Um, we'll have a mining and geology one in September and part of October, and then we kind of close it down for a little bit to get set up because, you know, Trees and Trains trees takes and trains a, big deal. a lot of work, but that's a favorite. So right. um, lots coming up and lots happening. If you aren't able to make a monetary contribution but want to be part of it, um, we always welcome volunteers. All of our, you know, the whole community betterment projects, um, all of those are volunteer run so it takes lots of volunteers we have over 40 volunteers that help at ONCRC um, contributing you know over 2,000 hours a year to help keep it staffed and do all the planning and then all these exhibits take some time and effort sure. and ideas and creative um, creative people so we would love to have more people help us think through what we should exhibit in that big space over the next couple of years so lots of ways to be involved Sarah I ONCRC is just a part of SACPA, mm -hmm. and, and I think people may not even know what SACPA all does. And I, I mean, there's a lot of different things that you guys do with the Salem Arts uh, Center, and you got you really got some really nice things going on there. But there are some other things that you've done, the beautification and stuff like like that nature. People really do need to understand what SACPA is doing in our community because a lot of times people say, oh, I haven't heard anything about SACPA in a long time. Yes. You may not have heard it, but you probably have seen it. Or experienced it, haven't they? Yeah, and so um, next year will be SACPA's 30th anniversary. Um, you know, I've been here for all of them. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a really long-standing, important organization, and it's taken lots of community people um, to make it happen. It is a nonprofit, 501c3. Again, like um, donations and grants and um, all of that that help make it happen. Um, lots of volunteer help. And so, um, yeah, Salem Community Betterment Association has the, the buildings down there where the Ozark Natural and Cultural Resource Center mm -hmm. is, the Salem Creative Arts Center and the Arts Council. Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market is a big one. And come out tomorrow and you can shop the market and see the work that's happening on the mural. Um, beautification, so all of the downtown planters and Craig Plaza, trees at the park, um, all of those things are done by volunteers with Community Betterment. Love Thy Neighbor, the summer right. housing renovation project um the dent county toy drive is part of community betterment and diane should be getting that yep, really kicking July off here event. soon yep, right. it's coming pretty quickly i think so yeah. another great way to be involved so i think she waits till right after the fourth and then she starts to kick it in the high gear yeah it takes a lot of effort and time and money to pull that off but it's really important for the kids in our community so Sa sacpa community betterment association is really um it's growing and lots of things happening, lots of momentum. And again, we want people to be involved. It's about all of us pitching in to help make our community a great place and lots of ways to be involved, no matter you know if it's art or um, farmer's market, all those types of things. So um, if you reach out to any of us on the board, we're happy to get you involved. Do you have a website that uh, actually explains a lot of these things and mm -hmm. at least has some pictures where people can see? Yeah, so Brett Capps, our treasurer, um, mm -hmm. made the website just this past year. It's wonderful and you know we needed that so um, salem community betterment.com all spelled out um, you can check out all the different projects and ways to you know, sign up for classes get involved donate money all of that so um, we we want you all to be part of it it's exciting and um, we're glad to be part of it so well we are so glad that uh, you know there was a time sack but kind of had a little kind of fell down a little bit uh, a lot of the original members Obviously, we all got old a little bit, had to find those replacements. It takes a while. Sometimes there's that transition, and I think SACBA has made that transition. It's getting stronger than ever, I believe. And also, when you start to see things like this, and with the help of David and Vivian, obviously, I'm going to give you a lot of credit because, you know, you're the future. Yeah. You're going to come in here and tweak this, <laughs> <laughs> you know, as as we need, right? Right. right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It's, it's, yeah. it's a family. It's going to be a family portrait. Well, it really is, <laughs> and you're going to be the 
the uh, Dorian Gray of that to keep keep it going. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep young. it looking I, young. I'm the aging. <laughs> yeah, she's staying yeah. young and beautiful. Well, I'm the aging. Well, it, 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 it happens. <laughs> it just happens that way, David. I hate to tell you. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to get any better. But, yeah. again, the creativity that was put into this, and I love your imagination, you know, and, oh, you. and all the different ideas that you put into this to bring not only forward what our our area might be known for but also some of the things that we may have forgotten that actually happened in our area you know the river is always a good thing but we don't see the miners too often we don't get a chance to see the rocks being out there and stuff all part of what den county is and you did an outstanding job not being a local to remember this but uh you absolutely did some research to find out a lot of different things about our county and we really do appreciate that and the effort you put into this and i i just i just can't wait to see these white flowers in the front of this building this is you know there's not a lot of white on your mural at all yeah and that was the yeah. only white i saw Am I right? Yeah, is that well, the only I, one? I, I, you're, yeah. I, I guess I didn't <coughs> well, really think about it, but that's, yeah. My guess right. on the banjo front, but bright white. I mean, yeah. when you see it, it's just the only white, right. and everything else just has a little tinge of white or maybe yeah. off white. Yeah. But it, it just strikes. It, it hits right in the middle of all that green and dark, and bang. Mm -hmm. And it's like a welcome to mm -hmm. the ONCRC, and it really does look good. So, well, thank you, Steve. I really do really appreciate, appreciate that. that. So, again, if anybody has any questions, is there a number to call SACPA, or are you guys just taking emails? Um, better to email um, or stop by. Okay. okay. That's the best way. I, I, I know it's hard to get a hold of. I mean, you got so many different arms. Yeah, lots of people, lots of um, connections. So um, send it. there's a way that you can send a message on the, the website or shoot us an email. So um, right. lots of ways to connect. Okay. So, again, if you'd like to be a part of this, mail your donations to P.O. Box 732, Salem. Or you can, if you see a board member, you're more than welcome to, you know, talk with them about it, and, and they'll take your donations. Absolutely. I'm sure they will. And if you have any other questions about emailing about the ONCRC, you can just ONCRC at SalemCommunityBetterment.com. I highly recommend you go to SalemCommunityBetterment.com, the website. Get a better feel for what it's all about. And uh, really, I, I look forward to seeing the stages of this come to life. As you will. And I hope the people of Salem do as well. As they drive by, first off, don't stop in the middle of the road. <laughs> Try and take a picture. You're more than welcome to pull off in a parking lot right there and take a picture, but please don't stop on 19 and try and get a picture or try and travel and say, look, I got it. Yeah. You know, that's probably not a good idea. Um, but if you can, do try and take a moving history of, of how they're providing this look at a mural history of Dent County. It really is kind of fun uh, to see it come to life, and we're probably going to do some videoing of that ourselves, get up there, and then put a time lapse on it and watch how it all comes to life Thanks. in a short period right of time. Now, people are just driving around in with their mouth agasp. Uh -huh. well, yeah. They're still yeah. trying to figure out <laughs> the code. Out. Taking yeah. pictures from the, from the parking lot across yeah. the street. Oh, oh yeah. Posting on Facebook. What's going on? Yeah. What's going on, yeah. guys? Well, we, we know, like, on... on um, we have a citywide yard sale and citywide yard sales are notorious for people they're looking obviously they're looking for yard sales right <laughs> they're not watching the road real close yeah. and so okay. yeah. you, you yeah. that's why i say if they're looking over to the left well, you got a casey's right there and you yeah, got also yeah. got you know people you got the, the sagba office right there and if you're not looking hard enough you might hit a curb or you might just hit something else. Something so like the right. best bet is to come tomorrow morning when the farmer's market's here. Absolutely. And park and shop and then check it out. Get up close right. and take a look at all those numbers mm -hmm. and letters. <laughs> yeah. And right. Designs. Yeah. 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 Be good for you. Anyway, again, I want to thank you guys for coming in. Thank you. Really appreciate the design. I know it had to take a lot of time to put all that together. Yeah. It really did. Yeah. And well, so it's going to be worth it in the end. I'm sure it will. Yeah. The best to you, Vivian, in your in your future um endeavors I, I guess might be the best way because it sounds like you're not going to be limiting yourself to one area so you it looks kind of like that, that that just keeps spreading out <laughs> yeah we'll see well <laughs> you know hey you might get in uh, the art institute you find something that you just really want to put your claws into and go with and that's great Absolutely. but then again you might get out there so you know what i, I love doing this but i want to try this you know at your age we all we all know. Hey, you gotta. If you don't ever try it, you never know if you're gonna like it. Right. 
Okay, so, and if you're that creative, if you're anything like I see here, <laughs> wow. If you get that from your dad, you did a pretty good job. Yeah, all my kids are a lot more talented than I am. Well, that's pretty yeah. doggone talented yeah. here, I'll tell you what. Yeah. But you're brought up in our family. Obviously, you see things differently than most people would. Um, I always kind of call me accountant generation. You see things black and white. Artists don't see anything in black and white. You know, they see things in colors. They see things moving. They see things, they interpret it differently. Um, and like I say, uh, I didn't grow up in that kind of generation. Everything in my area was black and white. This is the way it is. You know, and so when you see a person like yourself, a young person like yourself, getting into it, that's fantastic because... Uh, Any time that you can talk with your dad or talk with your your grandpa or anybody you know about art, I'm sure you're you're ga grasping new ideas all the time. Yeah, all, always. Well, the very best yeah. to you yeah. in Thank your you in me. future endeavors, and good luck. Hopefully, uh, the weather works well for you. We'll just have it rain at night. Rain at night. <laughs> yeah. Cool northerly breezes every day. All that. We gotta get that. We gotta get that programmed. Sarah, we got a lot to order. <laughs> we'll do our best. Yeah. You know, um, but anyway, we well, thank you guys for really coming down, putting this together. Thanks for having us. And again, if you have any questions, stop by the ONCRC. It is open while all this is going on, and you're more than welcome to stop on in. If you have any question there, your volunteers there can help you out. If you'd like to volunteer, talk to them there as well. Yep. We'll be glad to visit with you. So Very thanks good. so much for having us. And don't forget to go to their website, SalemAmericanCommunityBetterment.com. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. I've been there many times. It's a very informative site, and it looks good. So it's easy to navigate. That's also another nice thing about it. Uh, sometimes you get to websites, oh. and they're not. My dad's not here, and he's like my marketer. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. So he would, he would be all over me for not saying my website is AlleywayArts.com. You could... Google me at David Spear. I'm Instagram. on Facebook and Instagram. As Spear Painter. Spear Painter on Instagram. Thank you for mentioning that because <laughs> yeah. my dad would be like, you didn't do what? Yeah. 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 Alleyway you Arts. You can see all huh? the great work. Alleyway Arts. I, like I started in an alleyway studio that was in the alleyway in Columbia. So that was my first studio, and we were there for 13 years. And uh, now I have a studio at home and moving around the state. So. Well, it sounds like you're very active, and wherever you go, you've been here at the Department of Conservation, obviously. You yeah. don't stay home very often. You're right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, very good. Thank you again, David, for putting this together. Thanks, SACPA, for putting all this together, you know, and taking that building and turning it into a featured art place in the center of town, which is also, by the way, one of the highest points in town, mm, if you did okay. not know that. All right. That is. The high, virtually almost the highest point in town. Okay. Next All to right. the high school, that's it. Oh. Yeah. All right. So it'll be visible. We're Very excited visible. to get people to come through and see it, and you know, yeah. stop at our in our community. So. So, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put you under the bus, Sarah. But in the future, you know, obviously this is this. When it all gets finished here, and probably I will say the fall season and stuff of that nature. Um, this is going to be a big thing when people come to town. Is there a marketing plan SACPA has in place for this and then the Smithsonian coming up next right. year? So, yeah, we're working on that. So we're going to be working with the Chamber on some of the ads that they do in rural Missouri and um, Missouri Life magazine um, so that we can feature that. The mural is one of the new things to come and well, see. You need and to get Smithsonian that article exhibit. written in rural Missouri, definitely. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, we're working on lining that stuff up. Um, We'll come back here for sure. <laughs> sure. Um, but then, yeah, we're thinking about how we can help um, market it. Um, you know, billboards maybe in the future. We want to make sure people know to come down here and see it. Um, we've been talking with um, some of our, you know, Tourism Commission and some of the different um, tourism businesses to think about how we can, you know, make sure people know about it and come see it. So okay. we're working on that. Honestly, if there's anybody... I know this is infancy right now. Yeah, and we could we love people with marketing skills. So if anybody has that skill set and wants to help us make sure we do a really good job with this going forward this next year with all the cool things. Very good. I'd love that help. <laughs> well, again, thank. I know I'm keeping you from your job. No, so. you, this is great. Yeah, <laughs> because no. it is dry right now, and you yeah. can get out there and actually paint. 
But David, thank you for coming in. Vivian, thank you. Sarah, thanks you again, and we do appreciate it. And a little bit of part that we can do, whatever we can do. And you guys want to get halfway through? You want to come back down and give us an update? Be more than happy to have you come back in and and kind of touch base with us and just say, hey, the graffiti's gone. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, thanks again for coming in. We really do appreciate you. And uh, wish you the very best weather-wise to get this uh, project completed the way that you want to get it completed and not have you guys melt. Oh, that'd be, that'd be key. Guys, thanks again for coming in. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. KSMO Radio, our friends from SACMA, David, Vivian, and Sarah. Thanks, guys. For